Hi, this is Robin Bremer. And I want to share with you something real quick that I heard from somebody else, and it's really helpful. So helpful, in fact, I thought I would pass it on to you. Now, you know, one of the things that, well, one of the things that I experienced a couple of years ago when I really started to minister a lot on the Internet and um, just lay on the line the things that God teaches me and shares with me, uh, sharing them with you, um, was a lot of people, not a lot of people, but some people would want to argue with me. Uh, they didn't want to know the truth. They just wanted to prove that they were right. Excuse me. So they would want to argue with me. And so I would get all stressed out and come back with scriptures. And in the process of time, I realized to just let it go that it didn't matter because if somebody really wanted to call me a false prophet or a liar or whatever, um, because of what I share, that that was their opinion. And it didn't change the truth. It didn't change what I knew and lived in and who I am. It just was their opinion. And so I came to realize that when somebody disagrees with you, if they just want to prove they're right, argue and prove they're right, it's not worth your time. <clears throat> it's not worth your time. And just to let it go, and then you wouldn't be stressed. It was like, they don't want to know the truth. They just want to argue and prove they're right. So just don't bother with them. Let it go. And pretty much the clue is anger, that these people become angry at you. And anger is the number one cue, clue that they have a religious spirit in them. Because the religious spirit always gets stirred up and gets angry uh, when you begin to share truths with them, especially when it has to do with your identity, that you are a child of God and that God lives in you and that you hear from God, that you experience God, that offends a lot of religious people because a religious spirit is all about, um, a religious spirit, what is the word I'm looking for? A religious spirit is all about you do this, you get this. A religious spirit wants you to concentrate on you. You're a sinner. You have to earn God's uh, appreciation and like. You have to earn everything. You have to do everything. And so a religious spirit is all about earning and doing. It's not about Jesus. See, a religious spirit wants to take away Jesus out of the equation. It wants to take faith out of the equation. It wants to it wants to put you in the picture uh, and talk about anything but Jesus. So a religious spirit gets angry when you talk about Jesus, when you talk about you are his child, you're, he's in you, you can hear his voice, you speak for him because you speak the word and so on. And so a religious spirit gets angry. So what I am getting at is God, well, actually I heard somebody say this the other day and I wrote it down because I thought it was so important. When somebody wants to debate you, harass you in some way, whether it's about your Christianity, your personal relationship with Jesus or something else. There's two different things you can say, and you should memorize these because it'll make your life so much easier. Okay, number one is, that's, that's, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. That's your opinion. So you see, that's your opinion. And you don't have to agree with them or disagree. You can just say, that's your opinion. And the other thing is, if they say something angry or want to do something or whatever you can say i'm sorry you feel that way and that is acknowledging their feelings but it's not taking part of their feelings and i just i just love that because i can say that that's your opinion or i can say i'm sorry i'm sorry that you feel that way i'm i'm acknowledging their feelings i'm not blowing them off but i'm not taking sides with them because if i took sides with somebody i didn't agree then we'd both be wrong <laughs> Andrew Womack says that, and I really like that. Anyway, so that's a quick tidbit of help on how to keep the peace, how to not get stressed when you want to share um, your experience about your relationship with God. So my name is robinbremer.net is my website. If you like what I've shared today, make sure you share it with your friends, your social media sites, and I pray that you and they are blessed. I'll talk to you next time.